Welcome folks to Let's Play Ishar on the Amiga. If you are new to this uh, Let's Play, welcome and this is going to be the first time you see this game on this channel. This is the Amiga version, which is better than the PC version. If you are not new to this Let's Play um, and you've watched the first three episodes, the game kept crashing and I couldn't re-record because I record the game without the microphone, so this is gonna be from scratch. So let's proceed with the game. We start here. The history for those who are not, for those who are new, is Aramir here, the hero of the story, which is absolutely non-essential, uh, has been sent here by a mage friend of his, who told him that a great evil lurks in this um, in Kandoria, or whatever the name of this land is. I think it's Kandoria, or something like that, and he has to defeat the evil. So. Um, what happened before this game? Before this game, Crystal of Arboria happened. In Crystal of Arboria, you play as Jarel, which is um, an elven prince of some sort, and you defeat the evil sorcerer Mogroth, something like that, and you become the king of this land. Now, this game starts that someone has assassinated Jarel. And has taken up the throne. And since he has taken up the throne, bad things are happening because he's evil, evil. So let's begin our our uh, journey by speaking to this fantastic individual. Warm tears to the south in Angaram's country. There is a nice little village. Its tavern, the Thirsty Barbarian, is known miles around. You, sir, by chance, would you like to come with us? Bormin is a thief. He's a human, level 1, with 7 strength, constitution 6, agility 8, intelligence 6. There's a team vote. We vote for having him join. So he's gonna join us, temporarily. We don't really care about this guy, gonna be honest. In fact, we're gonna take his gold, as you can see here, and give it to our main character. Now, the reason I've taken Bormin with, you, Bormin with me is, well, you're gonna see it soon enough. There is another character I would like to take with me, because he, as we explore this world, we find people that want to join with us. This is a beautiful smoking hot blonde, which we really want with us. So we're gonna recruit this character. Her name is Kyriela, she's a priest, a human priest, with 4 strength, 5 constitution, 8 agility and 15 intelligence. She is a priest. What does a priest do? Well, absolutely nothing, they heal. That's what they do. Do they do anything else? No. They heal, they cast magic missile, they cast sleep, and they cast charm. So, what is this next thing we are gonna do now? Well, we have Bormin, right? He's a thief. So what we want to do, obviously, is go to this bridge, and we're gonna attack this barbarian. Alright? Uh, we also need to secure our characters here, just to make sure they're on a straight line formation. Oh, this guy just died. Alright, so he took the brunt of the attack and he just died. We can cast spells, we can cast healing on this, on Aramir, and we need to try and kill this guy. Okay, let's, let's backtrack. As you can see, as we cast spells, our Psy power will drain. The lower it is, the harder it is to cast spells, as you can see. So you might fail the spells. And we kill the Barbarian. Good. Now, let us help ourselves to the money this guy had. We can give them to Aramir for now. Okay. So we have now fled this place. And we have got rid of Bormin. You have to know one thing, in this game there are traitors. Traitors are people, spies usually, that work for uh, Krog, Krom, Krog, the guy, the evil dude. So when you sleep, they're like a particular NPC from Eye of the Beholder 2. When you sleep, he goes away with your shit. In this game, they go, they run away with your shit and sometimes they steal your magic items that are needed for the for the completion of the game so you're basically screwed okay we can begin by hiring some people they will not be 
permanent companions. They're just there to help us um, progress through the story. Now we have Targan. Targan is a barbarian. He's a human barbarian. He's very strong and he's gonna help us plenty. So we're gonna make sure we're gonna recruit this dude. Uh, we have Dorian. Dorian is a priest and he's basically another source of healing. So we definitely might want to consider this dude joining us. Then we have Nashir. Nashir is a spy. Basically the spy is a thief character. I don't know their use. I don't know their purpose. Um, could be fodder. I don't know. Um, they've got the pick lock um, skill which I yet do not understand how it works. We have Gornal which is an hypnotist. Uh, he's good with constitution but sucks at everything else. I don't know what's the point of this character. And you got Xylax, which is a warrior with 18 strength. He's very good. But for now, listen to the stories. I will tell you a secret. It is said that Krog may be Morgoth's son. The friend who told me this knew it from Irvan's daughter. Ah, Irvan's daughter. Alright. So Krog is the main antagonist of the story and he is Morgoth's, Morgoth's son. Nonetheless, Morgoth's son, Morgoth is basically the evil dude from the first game. Let's continue exploring the city. We have agility training course, which I don't know what it does. I think it's for maybe, maybe ranged weapons. We can also buy stuff here. We can buy some food. Food is used to replenish your physical prowess. Your physical prowess is basically the same as your mental prowess, except that it governs the ability to hit enemies um, with melee weapon and ranged weapons. We've got some ingredients. We are going to need those, but not right now. Throwing daggers, completely useless. Arrows, completely useless. And we have a short sword, which gives us a plus one to damage, which is completely useless, because we already have that. And we're not going to be attacking with different characters, just with one. There's another tavern here. Let's listen to the... Let's mingle. You remember Fragorn, my cousin from Lotaria? Well, he recently attended a magical seminar, and he is now searching for the magic flask in Rudgas Forest. So, uh, this dwarf, you can hire him, but when he betrays you because he's a traitor, he's gonna steal the magic flask and he's gonna run away. Because that's his goal, he's there for the magic flask, he doesn't care about your quest. Which is actually very accurate, very realistic. I'm gonna steal your shit if I need it and gonna um, run away, I don't care about your quest. Can we recruit someone? Okay, we've got... Fyrod, which is a ranger with 17 strength and 18 constitution. He's actually pretty decent, not bad. We've got Azirek, which is an assassin. We have Shilda, which is an archer. She is basically useless. And we have Mog, which is a warrior, but he's an orc. So since we're fighting orcs, it doesn't make sense to take him with us. So um, who can we get? Well, we need people to fight for us, so a ranger might be a good choice here. So we're gonna recruit Fyron. And possibly, for now, I think that's everything we want. I don't want Childa. So we're gonna exit. So right now we've got one, two, and three fighters. Alright? And... Do we need something else? We have two rangers here, which is great. Now I could take a priest to heal us, or I could take another ranger which serves the purpose of healing us, and also... And also... No, 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 let's take the ranger. Let's go and take the ranger. Now, we can explore this area, but there is nothing, trust me. Or we can take this teleport. This teleport will bring us to this nice place. I don't know what I'm not, when I'm not attacking. I'm so... No. I want you to be on the front. Thank you. I'm gonna attack. Oh man, this is much, much, much faster than the PC version. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We have a problem here. We have a problem here. The game is so fast. 
Alright, there was a problem with the audio as you can see. But we can uh, we kinda fix that. So let's cast spells indeed. As you can see now I have a very low psi power, so casting spells could be a problem now. I wouldn't force it, okay. So let's see, um how about we give our sword to Targan? He's better than us. So Maybe it should be slowing down with the Amiga. Maybe I should try with the Amiga 500. Whatever the case, um, let's finish. Let's round up the things we need to do in this place. All right? We need to go to here, take a little bit of a tour, and take this money. Also, Kiriel has some money, which is fine. I don't really mind. Let's explore this area now. This area has some more orcs, which we're gonna take care of with um, Targan. Excellent. So Targan has some money. You have some money too. You might need some money later, but for now, what we need to be doing is simply go in here, take the money, give it to Aramir, and get out. Now, we were told about the tavern here. So we're gonna go and enter this tavern. Let's listen to what they have to say. Life is now impossible with Krog around. We had better times with Lord Jarrell. You know, his mates are still alive. And one of them lives here in the village. Indeed. So we could sleep, but why? We are almost full here, so... Okay, we have Kirian here. Kirian is a ranger, meaning he can learn some spells. He has 19 constitution, 16 strength and 12 agility. He's not the greatest tool in the box, but we're gonna take him regardless. Because we need as much um, meat on the field as possible. Besides, we don't have access to mages now. Uh, do we need something else from this? Okay, we could use some healing. Or maybe not. Uh, we need to find the companion of Jarel, which is here. My name is Akir. I am one of Jarel's maids who once braved, then destroyed the evil Dark Lord Morgoth. But today we have, a fa we have to face a brand new danger. This threat has a name, Krog. He murdered a good prince Jarel and sat on his throne on Ish in Ishar, an evil temple unleashing hordes of monsters all over our beloved land. Now the time has come for revenge. If you manage to destroy Krog, you will be able to use Ishar's tremendous powers and soon you will reign over the whole kingdom. The companions are old, but they still may help you. In Lotharia, near the four birches, Azergorm, the spirit could give you some advice. Warm tear, my friends. Alright, so we got a bit of information here. We need to go to Lotharia, and we need to go to the four birches. Now, you have a ranger in your party, so you can take orientation and ask for direction, basically. Your ranger will tell you that Lotharia is to the east, to the south and to the west, the ocean. We don't need any of those, we just need to go east. Also, how about we cast some nice first aid? I firmly refuse to heal Phyron. Okay, Phyron, um, before we sleep, you are fired. If she hates him, this could mean one thing. If she hates him so much, it means that Phyrom could be a traitor. Because Kiriela is good, so we might actually want to uh, dismiss... Do we, do we have anything from you? No, we might actually want to dismiss um, Phyron. Everybody approves, so yes, goodbye Phyron. Thank you for your money though. Okay, the first thing I want to do is uh, buy some food for everyone. Food is there. One. Can I move, like, everything? I want to move everything. Okay, so I click like that. This is good to know. This is good to know. Kiriela. And I think I need to buy one for... Indeed. No, you just have to 
no get everything for Kirian and then something for us okay so we got some money we should also be you can see the, here you can see the skills of your uh, characters so Kiriela is not very strong Kirian is a mixed bag is not that particularly uh, good with much of the stuff they they're kind of bad so we're gonna use him until we until we don't need him anymore until then we're gonna need someone else but he's a fighter nonetheless so that's that's going to be fine um where do we need to go we can get some training if we want to or we can here's here's the thing this game is an old game so it requires some grinding so let me show you let me show you what it means to grind now Targon has the sword we're gonna go back and forth in this gate because leaving a region will respawn all of the monsters so we're gonna kill this dude and as you can see they've respawned and we're also gonna get some experience and the gold that the gold is always nice it's always a nice addition to your uh, collection of money now it is best if you need to sleep it is best that you um, use up all of the characters stamina I'm gonna show you in a while in a moment as you can see every time I attack and kill these guys the stamina of my fighters will decrease it comes a point where my stamina is um, not good enough so you switch to another fighter once all your, your all your, your fighters have exhausted their stamina you go and rest right so it pays dividends to actually um, how do I say this it pays dividend to actually use all of your uh, stamina before you actually go to rest just for one dude because resting costs money so now see we have low physical prowess so we can switch to Kirian and now Kirian will resume attacking and he can hit very consistently because he's at full physical prowess uh, suddenly Aramir is about to die so we need to take him out of the equation but that is basically the gist and that basically what you're required by the game to do if you want to have an easier time playing this game if you don't want an easier time man knock yourself out you can go and um, do not farm any gold or any experience I don't know why you will do that but that's a possibility also as you can see we've gained levels because our health increased so that is a thing that is a thing also this game might actually be better played on an Amiga 500 so we're gonna try that next time as it seems to me a bit a, li a little bit too desynchronized with the speed because we're playing with an Amiga 600 on a, with a workbench so that could be the problem and as you can see we're starting to miss a little bit more because our physical prowess has decreased usually ar around the halfway mark you're gonna start noticing the decline in physical prowess so that's enough for um, for the farming I showed you what I had to show you so we need to sleep we're gonna sleep cost 900 that's okay we're gonna need to eat and that puts us at a very good position now obviously I will need to heal up my um, main character here there you go let me show something else before we wrap it up why? why do you suck so much? just do first aid cast spell healing okay if we go straight here we find a training course this will increase your stats you can choose anyone really but the closer you are to your um, cap which is 20 uh, the less successful you are this costs you 2000 gold to try it doesn't guarantee your success 
so it could be a good money sink later in the game in the early game I sincerely do not recommend you do this for whatever reason with that being said we need to go back and sleep some more I know it costs money I am perfectly fine we need to rest anyway so how do we save I have no idea how we can save save current game it costs a thousand money to save the game which is not a problem again enter save game name and press return LP1 one doesn't work okay I need to use the num lock so do I need to put my save let's see press return insert save game disk already formatted in disk floppy zero and press return so let's create a standard disk we're gonna call it ishar save alright so let's switch to that and see if the game actually agrees with me here does it work? wait it kinda works well I'm sure it's doing something insert game disk in DF okay 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 this works great game disk is number two by the way if you didn't know that right because back in the day they would come with the piece of paper slapped on top of the floppy disk with game disk intro disk all those things so we're back here and I'd say we did enough for this episode so I'm gonna wrap it up and I will see you guys in the next episode so thank you for watching see you next time bye bye